What's going on, America? This is your hustling godfather, which is using fear to sell products. It doesn't matter that 42 million people are unemployed. It doesn't matter that many cities around the country are on fire. No, we're going to ignore that and act like everything's perfectly fine. I deleted that comment because that comment was placed by an idiot. I understand that many of you are in the Trump orbit and we're going to talk about Donnie in a minute. Things are not good. And I understand that people don't like bad news, but this whole thing of, well, you're a fear mongerer. Turn on the news every night. Every night, for the last four nights here in Atlanta, we've had a curfew. There are cities that are, it's just popping off. This is happening. And this is one of the reasons that you people who are leaving those kind of comments will not be successful because you can't live in truth. This is happening. There are 42 million people, and let's talk about unemployment. Unemployment is still going up. It's not the 6.6 .6 million people that it was per week, but it was still, cause I thought it was gonna tamp down to under a million and it was like 2.7 million the last week of May. And we, we still have layoffs for all you V-shaped recovery people. Before we can start recovering, we, we gotta get to the bottom. We're not at the bottom yet. In June, we're gonna still see unemployment numbers go up. Now why is that? The states are opening up. We're supposed to have this V-shaped recovery. It, let me do the math because the majority of you people who are talking about V-shaped recovery, you never owned a business. Let me go ahead and give you from a business owner perspective. When you have a business and money stops, that is a bad, bad thing. Cause see the money stops, but everything else goes on. Your rent goes on, your cost goes on. There, there's so many things that still go on. And each month that you have where the money has literally stopped, you get further and further behind. For every month that you don't have money, you get three to four months behind. So if you go two months, you're six to eight months behind. If you go three months, you could be a year behind. See, I speak from experience. I don't just talk out of my butt like many of you do, because I was talking to someone that's like, oh, it'll be, it'll snap back. It'll be, I was like, no, it won't. Because these people are not looking at, because everything, I, everything, every day I go in and I look at the unemployment numbers and it can be somewhat kind of hard because um, various news reportings, they will have inaccurate data because, you know, you will hear, hear that unemployment is 14%. Unemployment is not 14%. Do the simple math. We had 160 million people who were employed. 42%, 42 million of those people no longer have jobs. That's like 24, 23%. And it's, it's, it's real interesting how the unemployment numbers has become skewed because I look at it and they're like, you know, I have to look at the date the article was posted and I have to look at all this other stuff. And I ask you, why have we been in a country whose administrative policies has failed the common man? You know, before the pandemic, rah, 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 the economy, the economy, the economy, best economy on planet, stock markets raging. I mean, seriously, we've been shut down literally two going on three months and it is completely collapsed. And this is a economic collapse. Like I have been talking about the global reset for months for you folks who are like, it's just a global reset. This is going to happen. I've been talking about that. You, 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 you need to watch more videos. You need to stay up on it because this global reset is going to look and feel like a collapse because I have a feeling and hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully that this isn't correct, but unemployment is going to continue to climb throughout into the fall. Now, why is this? Demand is, a, dem is down. I, I live, you know, uh, I'd be looking at the traffic patterns. 
Traffic has not gotten back to normal. Traffic hasn't even gotten close back to normal. So people are not out. So they're, you know, states opening up, people are doing what they're doing, but demand has not come back. And right now, it's interesting to see what people are talking about on Facebook because anytime that the public puts out, well, the the news organizations put out that the coronavirus cases has increasing that, well, that ain't right. It's false, it's wrong, can't be. And remember a few weeks ago when the states opened up and summertime hit and all of these folks were out? That was about two weeks ago. So it would make sense that the cases would go up and I predict the cases are going to skyrocket again in about two to three weeks because of everything that's going on right now. Once again, I understand that many folks don't want to face the truth. Many folks don't, you know, there, there's a saying, I'm from Alabama. Many, feet, many people don't believe fat meat is greasy until the juice is dripping on their fingers. And we just got some hard headed people who are going to have to suffer absolute chaos for them to get it because until it touches them, it ain't real. That's one of the things. But going back to the unemployment, Unemployment is going to be a big, big issue for some time. And also, let's talk about Donnie wants to enact martial law. Donnie has been on these phone calls with these governors talking about get tough, crack heads. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. Donald has pretty much made it well known what his position is on these protests and how they should be handled. He wants to enact martial law. He wants to invoke certain uh, acts to give him even more power because he's a narcissist and he wants to be king. He don't want, you know, he don't be a president. I don't want to be president. I want to be the king. I want to be the king and have you guys as my subjects. And this is my kingdom. This is pretty much where he's going. And it, hopefully the protests and the riots are starting to tamp down because you, I think in 1960s, there, there's a M60 machine gun on the Capitol steps. And that had never happened in America before. We may be going back to that type of action because National Guards are out. They're shooting people in their neighborhoods who are sitting on their porches. They were walking around, get inside, get inside now, light them up, light them up. We're entering into a police state. We're entering into martial law. And it's so bad that many of the National Guard people are refusing to like, I'm not doing that because it's wrong. So this politic is starting to have some problems. Uh, one of Trump's advisors resigned when Trump did a because it's essentially for Trump to get to the church to hold up the Bible for that photo op, they had to use tear gas on the protesters to get them out the way. And a guy resigned over that because it's just getting out of control. But let, let's just dive into policy and the so-called good economy. Where are the policies that protect you? that protect your job, that protect your, where, where are the policies? I, I went ahead this morning, like Germany, unemployment rate is 3.5%, unemployment in the UK, unemployment in Spain, which got hit hard by the coronavirus, was like 14%. So it's very uneven. But one of the things that the European Union is, you know, that socialist, that socialist stuff that so many people hate in America, like that's socialism, I don't like it. Bah, humbug, socialism. Get rid of it. Well, those socialist problem policies are the reasons that the European countries are not suffering as bad as we are. They have something that's called short time where the government will make up for the money that the employer doesn't pay. And this is why the unemployment rate is so low in Germany and other places. Where's those kind of policies for America? Like right now, we're going to have such a crazy summer because you know i look at what's coming i look at donald trump wants martial law 
unemployment is still climbing. It is still climbing. Unemployment is going higher than it did during the Great Recession. And that's going to be problematic for many, many reasons. It's going to be problematic for housing. It's going to be problematic for the economy at large. That's going to be problematic for the people who are suffering. Like, you know, I did a video and, you know, it's funny because when you go to the YouTube analytics, a lot of people were really surprised to hear that long term bouts of unemployment impact your income for decades. A lot of people were like really shocked at that. And th this is something that you have to understand because many folks during this global reset are being shifted down and many folks are about to suffer and they're about to feel some real economic pain. And you know, it, it's funny because on Savage Finance, I did a video how to start a, video, uh, start a business, which isn't doing that well. People, 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 people. The government is not going to save you. It is almost, I'm almost willing to bet money there will not be another stimulus check. Why? Because our body politic does not care about the people. They were on recess. They were on vacation when this, their checks are not being interrupted. They're still getting paid their money. They don't care about you. So I got a video on Savage Finance talking about one of the first things you need to do to start a video. Check it out, check it out, look at that video. Because the government's not gonna save you, no one's coming to save you, no one's coming to help you out, they don't care. They simply don't care because if the politic, and I'm talking about the Democrats and the Republicans, because the Democrats are sending up all these smoke flares of all these overly generous stimulus packages with these pork filled bills that they know that the Republicans are not gonna pass. They, they know the Republicans are not gonna approve this stuff, but they're doing it to get votes. Well, it's an election year. They're doing this to say, hey America, we got your back. We were trying to do some, it was those pesky Republicans. And now, I mean, it, it was so bad that some of the Democrats are starting to like, hey, this is kind of crazy. And this is where we are. So what you got to do as an individual is one, like, you know, if you're, you're watching this channel, you like the videos, you know that I'm not a fear mongerer and I'm not selling on fear. Reporting what actually is happening happening isn't really selling on fear, my dude. I mean, some of you Trump people are mentally ill because what's going on right now and me talking about it is not selling on fear. It's just stating the facts and it's trying to give people a different perspective. So it's going to be incumbent upon you. I know you don't want to hear this, but you're going to have to start a business. You're going to have to dig deep and start doing things differently because you know, the economy is starting to pick up a little bit and in that space is opportunity. You could serve because, you know, even if unemployment got to 30%, we would still have 70% of the people with jobs, making money, needing products and services. So even during the great depression, when unemployment was 25%, we had people become millionaires because they provide a service they produce because this is one of the reasons that America's unemployment is so much higher than Germany. Germany is the manufacturing hub of the Europe. Just like China is the manufacturing hub of the world. What we as a country many decades ago is abdicated the responsibility of making things and being innovators. And we just got rid of our manufacturing base and we just really began to eradicate our solid middle class in the forties, fifties and sixties. You could be born in the country. You could be born in a house without running water, go to the big city, start working at some factory and literally work your way up to vice president and not even have a college degree. That's when America was great. This is, this even, I got some of that American greatness. When I was 13, 14, I put it in my head that I wanted a job. So I, I walked around my neighborhood 
and I went to places, I went to, cause you know, I know this is gonna sound strange, but being a bag boy at the grocery store was a highly desired job. You got tips, you know, you, you put your groceries in the bag, you walk people out to the cars, they, you know, it, it was highly desired. So it was kind of a hard job to get cause it was so desirable. So I, I went ahead at the Eagle supermarket and filled out my application. Then I just went to this other place. I don't even know how I ended on this street. And it was called Sign Builders. And I went in there and there was this lady, she was real nice. And she said, no, we don't have any jobs. Little did I know on my way back when I was walking, and it was a hot summer day, that the owner of Sign Builders saw me. And he was like, hey, what's that kid? What do he want? What's he doing? He's like, he's looking for a job. So this owner came and picked me up in his Corvette and is like, well, we're going we're gonna to create a job for you. That's when America was great. If you showed the desire to work, people would fit you in. Now, you could be showing all kinds of desire to work and you could be just left out in the cold. This is when America was great. This is when, like, when I was a kid, if you wanted a job, you could find one. It ain't the case now. And unemployment is gonna remain high in getting jobs unless you have specific type of skills, it's about to get sketchy. Because unemployment is going to keep rising. I don't think it's going to be like, you know, at one point it was 6.6 .6 million. Now it went down to two. I'm pretty shocked that it's still two, almost three million. And we're going to see what unemployment will be during June. Because right now we have 42 million Americans who don't have a job. And if we keep on with this trajectory of 2 million people losing their job, we're going to have 50 million people without a job. Out of 160 million, that means 110 million people will still be working out of formerly 160 million. You cannot tell me that it's not going to have ramifications. They've, they're starting evictions again. Many of these people, due to no fault of their own, who got laid off, who got let go, are about to be evicted. And this is going to create a very nasty generational set of circumstances. Their kids are going to suffer. They're going to suffer. People are going to start living in their cars. People are going to start living in vans. People are going, you know, and this is going to be the folks who don't have family. And family is about to become supremely important. For those of you who have good families, hold on to them, love them, hold on and love them and be good to them because family is going to be everything. When I was homeless, I didn't have anybody that I can move in with. I didn't have anybody I can call. So for those of you who have these kind of networks, cherish them because they're going to be critical during this time frame. Because some of these people who are about to be evicted, they're going to move to Big Mama's house. They're going to be up there in Big Mama's house. And they're going to be there for a few years, if not a few decades. But for the folks who don't have family, which is a lot of people, they're going to be on the streets. There's this series on YouTube called Soft White Underbelly. It's kind of like uh, the invisible people, but they go deeper. They interview prostitutes, pimps, and, you know, it's, it's a really good show because I mean, it get raw, it gets raw and gritty. And that population base of the members of soft white underbelly are about to explode. Like these girls who got into prostitution because they were molested by Uncle John. These guys who became pimps because some older lady turned them out. You're about to see this type of behavior explode, molestation abuse of pedophiles. It's about to explode because the country's fabric is starting to fall apart. You're having a situation where the nuclear family has been devastated and the creation of networks and, you know, big mama, your, your daddy, you know, the family is going to be so important for the people who are about to be displaced. If you don't have family, it's gonna be really, really hard for you. 
it's going to be crazy. And also, for those of you who are protesting, you know, I said this in yesterday's video, I want you to ask yourself, what are you going to achieve by protesting? I understand your heart is open, you feel so bad at what you saw, and I get that. But you should protest during the day, and at night you should be working on your economic agenda. That's what you should be doing because I'm telling you, many of these people who are protesting, they're unemployed. That's why they're, they have all this time because they're at home doing nothing. This is one of the catalysts that has created this mess is we have so many people. We've got 42 million people unemployed sitting at home. And of the 42 million, only like, I think, X of 40, well, actually, there's more than 42 million. The 42 million are the people who were able to get through through unemployment. Like, don't believe me. Check it out on YouTube. There are so many people who are frustrated, who've been unemployed for weeks or months, who cannot get in, get their unemployment benefits. This has become a problem. And also something else that's about to happen. This is June. Four more weeks. Uh, about seven more weeks the additional unemployment benefits are about to run out and the GOP Senate doesn't have an appetite to extend that. They're not trying to do that. And then this is when the real pain is going to happen because mostly of the 42 plus million people unemployed, it was the low wage, it was the service sector, it was hospitality, it was restaurant workers. And this is why for a few months they've been living glorious. They've been living like, I made more money sitting at home than I did working the job. Busted my hump. How about that? Catch me outside. They're enjoying this. And it's just going to disappear. And then this is when the hardship, this is when the real trouble's about to begin. Because I don't really see the GOP Senate approving an extension of that $600. Uh, they've been very critical because right now, Many business owners are fighting against their tax dollars to get their employees back. Because the employees were like, uh, me speak no English. Harvey, he ain't here. Sheila, she ain't here. Because they like, I make more money sitting at home doing nothing than working for you. So they're not going back. And the, these problems, and I think this is, you know, I'm not, because I, I feel that both political parties are playing games. But I actually kind of feel the Republicans on this, like there's something wrong with you making more money doing nothing than working your job. There's, there's something wrong with that. This creates a new attitude. This creates a new kind of beast and it, it's just going to get better. But you should be working on your own economic agenda because like for the last three years, I've been talking about this thing was coming. I did not predict the pandemic. I had no clue that was going to happen. But I did know the economy was not as good as you were led to be believe. It just wasn't. And I want you to ask yourself constantly, why didn't my leaders prepare us for this? This is a failure of leadership on a massive level. You've got people who are about to enter generational shifts. Because see, this is what's going to happen. First of all, you have, you know, unemployment is going to continue to grow, I feel, until next year. And then you're going to have this large exodus of businesses. So many businesses are going to close. Right now, you're having large businesses that are filing for bankruptcy, like Pier 1 Imports, um, Gold's Gym. These were the so-called better finance businesses they're going under. So you're going to have this huge selection, you know, 10 to 12 million businesses are at risk. 10 to 12 million businesses. That's 10 to 12 million business owners and their families. So you could just times that times three. That's 30 million people with no source of income. And add that to, wow, add that to the unemployed of 40, that's 70 million people. You see how this thing gets really bad really quickly? Well, Glendon, he's fear-mongling again. He's telling the people the truth. 
And there are some people who are just too weak to accept the truth and they want to live in a fantasy world. Uh, for, for all you folks, I suggest you start doing drugs to help dull the pain because it's going about to get worse. Because I want you guys to understand what I am telling you, and I'm telling you this from the perspective of someone who went through something similar, except there was no pandemic. The economy wasn't bad. My economy was bad. My economy was bad because I didn't have the skills to pay the bills. And that was on me. What's happened to you ain't your fault. I, I want you to really think about that that you, you essentially got punched in the gut. You got knocked upside the head and you didn't do nothing wrong. You were just out there living your life, doing your thing and boom, this thing happened. So it, it, it is crazy what is going to happen. But let me go ahead and just paint to you what's, what's about to really happen. First, we're going to have these business owners go out of business, file bankruptcy. Those people who work for them, they're not going to have a job. That's going to become a temporary layoff. It's going to become permanent. Then unemployment is going to keep rising. And then the, un, these enhanced benefits are about to disappear. This is when you're about to see some craziness because we may have rioting in the fall that would be unrelated to George Floyd. We may have people rioting in the streets because they lost their apartment. They lost their job. They don't have no money. No, I mean, what you know, the, the die has been cast for anarchy. And Trump, Trump just wants to, he wants to shoot people. You know, it's, it's really interesting because remember when he was running for president, he says, I could shoot someone on, um, I think, Broad Street or some famous street in New York and I would still get elected. He said that and no one checked him on it. And now he's talking about bringing the United States military to these hot zones to have the military address and attack United States citizens on the United States soil. This is, this is the monster that was elected as president of the United States. And this is what he wants to do. Um, and what's funny is even with all of this madness, he could still get reelected because people have really short term memories. Let's just go ahead and put it this way. If we have the kind of activity that we have right now, we have these riots, we have protests, we have all this stuff, he won't get elected. But let's say things smooth out and it's just kind of cool. It's kind of okay. There's a very likely chance he could get reelected. After all, after the absence of leadership, after the chaos, after his, his failure to act quickly with the coronavirus, it's just funny. It's just amazing what can be accomplished in America. But you, America, what you got to do is begin to work on your personal economy. Like I said, the Savage Finance, I put up a video, how to start a business. And you know, these are the videos that you need to watch. I know that you like to be entertained. I get it. But sometimes you gotta come out of that entertainment mode and get into that education mode. Because right now, we are in a critical point in time. Now what do I mean by that? This critical point in time is the decisions that you're going to make in the next 90 to 120 days are going to critically impact your family for generations. This is where we are. Let's take the long-term layoff. If you're laid off six months to a year, this is going to in fact impact your future income for, gener for decades. That's going to be a hit. So let's say you get laid off, then you get evicted, then all your credit goes bad, and then in the future income is going to be less. So you've gotten tagged several times negatively. And this is going to harm your long-term perspectives. And let's say you're an older person. Let's say you're 65 and this happens. 
this could be really, really painful and rough for you. This could be crazy what's going to happen. Um, so you got to make better decisions if you're still in the position. Because like I said, you know, even if we get to 30% unemployment, we're going to have 70% of the people still working. We're going to have 70% of the people with money, 70% of the people keeping the economy going. But if you're one of those 30% who are on the outside, life is about to get horrible. Because right now, the Fed is propping up the stock market. Main Street lending's about to start lending money to these mid-tier businesses. They will be okay. I mean, honestly, if you were making 500 to a million a year, you should be okay. You should be okay. You should have put some money away. You know, if you were living the La Vida Loca, you should put some money away. So I feel that that segment's gonna be okay. And there are people in that segment which are going to explode. They're going to start making so much money. They're going to start doing so well financially. And you will want to be part of that group of people if you can push yourself up into it. Because right now, you know, the protests have opened up the gates. Social distancing is out the window. People like, I'm gonna live my life. If I get it, I get it. If I don't get it, I don't get it. That's pretty much where people are. And I, I, I get that, because folks were just tired of being cooped up. And also this martial law stuff is not helping. I mean, you could be literally shot with a rubber bullet for sitting on your porch. I want you to think about that shot at for sitting on your porch. That's where we are right now. So hopefully these riots and stuff will start to tamp down, but I don't think that unemployment's going to tamp down. I think unemployment's going to continue, and it's going to be really interesting to look at the numbers at the end of this month, because if we get to 50 million people unemployed, I think it's going to be real hard for Trump to win a re-election, regardless of what the stock market does. It's going to be really, really hard because that's a huge block of people with the ability to vote. And like I said, the Democrats are sending up all these flares. Hey, America, we got your back. We're trying to do this. We're trying to do this. These pesky Republicans. And I wonder what will happen if we have a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate and a Democratic president. I'm almost sure that there will be an instant stimulus proposal put out. I'm, I'm almost 100% positive that that will happen. Because that will be the payback, America. That will be the payback. But what you need to do and what you need to work on is your personal economy. This is one of the foundations of this channel. So go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Go ahead and get that. Get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. And also, if you're in the position, get the money management course. The money management course will straighten out your finances like nothing else before. You will blow your mind. Because essentially, it's what business owners, and there's a lot of business owners who are about to go bankrupt because they, they didn't keep their books properly. They did not segment their money correctly. And it's going to be a sad, sad thing. But go ahead and get that and watch this next video. And I will see you guys in the next one.